An embolization is performed through a tiny hole in the artery with delivering a embolic agent to the fibroid. So we puncture the, the femoral artery, which is an artery that lies at your bikini line. We do that with ultrasound. And then we put a, essentially we have a lot of different IV tubings that are different shapes. And we put them into the artery. We put in some x-ray dye and the x-ray dye shows us what the blood supply to the fibroids is. Then by using a fluoroscope, which is a type of, of radiation, x-ray, we guide our catheter into the artery that supplies the uterus. And we, do, we are going to look at both uterine arteries and we're going to embolize both uterine arteries because there's a lot of collateral flow in the pelvis. And if you treat only one side, uh, that's, not going to help re that's not going to result in significant symptomatic improvement. So we put the catheter into the uterine artery and then we put particles, and the way we, you could, you could use any particles. What we use at Emory, for the most part, are particles called embospheres, and those are small gelatinous particles that are calibrated to different sizes. The size that I typically use is 500 to 700 microns, and that is based on the fact that if you look at hysterectomy specimens, the average size of blood vessels that go to fibroids are 600 microns. So we target the fibroids by flow and by picking a particle that's the size of the vessels that typically supply them. So we inject the particles and we, we monitor with a fluoroscope and when the, when the vessel is full or barely has any flow in it, then we stop. So that's what our endpoint is. The process is called ischemic infarction and we essentially are cutting off the blood supply and the oxygen and the nutrients to the fibroid. So over time, the fibroid will shrink. First it becomes soft, and then it shrinks. 